What's up, everybody? Pyotr Jan versus Song Yadong goes down at UFC 299, Vera versus O'Malley 2. Guys, we have got to start talking a little bit more about this matchup. Not only is this matchup have a lot of stakes on it, this absolutely is going to be in running for fight of the night on a decked out UFC 299 card. And we have to talk about two fighters here that are very similar yet very different that have a lot on the line in this matchup. One being, first of all, these guys are both very similar in height, right? When we look at Piotr Jan, we kind of, everyone kind of makes fun of him, says he's five foot two, five foot three, and all these different things. Song Yudong is also a smaller guy. The difference in these, in these two dudes, man, is Song Yudong has ridiculous power in his hands. He's got good hand speed. He's more of a, a, a boxing based guy, whereas Piotr Jan does have good power in his hands. He's not necessarily that one shot knockout type of dude, but he has outstanding boxing, outstanding Muay Thai skills. His kicks are fast. They're dangerous. He has beautiful trips and sweeps. He's very good in the clinch. He has very good takedown defense. And overall, this is absolutely the biggest fight of both of these fighters' careers, which is why this is so interesting. And let's hop into the X's and O's of this matchup and why I'm saying this is probably the biggest matchup outside, you know, the Bantamweight title fight in the division. Despite what we want to say about Piotr Jan, I know when we talk about Piotr Jan, we look at him as one of the best guys at 135 pounds, which is absolutely fair. You know, you talk about the DQ over um, with Aljamain Sterling where Piotr Jan was winning the fight. If the knee doesn't happen, are we talking about a different trajectory of Piotr Jan's career? Quite possibly. Gets the rematch against Aljamain Sterling. Razor thin close fight. I thought Piotr Jan won. Then the, the BS with uh, Sean O'Malley where it's a very close fight. And it's like, I feel like Piotr Jan won. But, it, you know, you kind of see how you, you maybe you could have given it to O'Malley. Then we move along. And then you give Piotr Jan Rob Dwalishvili, who's the nightmare of the division, who everyone's kind of been doing their best to avoid in a way, which I can't say I blame anyone. Marab is a nightmare. And now we find Piotr Jan on a losing streak. Did we really think that we were going to see Piotr Jan in this, in, in this type of uh, situation? Maybe not. Did we envision him losing this many fights in a row? I don't think so. And he goes in there against a guy that I've been on the record saying I think has all the ability in the world to be a future champion in the Bantamweight division. And again, guys, styles make fights. In this matchup, this is a tough fight for Piotr Jan. I would have liked to have seen Piotr Jan take on a guy like Rob Fawn. I think that that would have been a great bounce back matchup for Piotr Jan. I do believe Piotr Jan would beat Rob Fawn. I do believe that that would have been a perfect matchup to get Piotr Jan ready for Song Yudong. However, unfortunately, it's just not the way the UFC is structured, especially when you're at the top of the heap in the division. You know, we're looking at two of the best guys, two guys that get the job done prim primarily with the, with the hands, but with Piotr Jan, he's really just, became, everyone wants to talk about his boxing. I like to look at Piotr Jan as a kickboxer. We know about his hands, his ability to switch stances, that patented high guard, um, using that hand to kind of probe and find his range and, you know, taking his time, you know, fainting, picking up on those reads and finding those openings. But Piotr Jan, has, he's made some adjustments in his camp. He's made some adjustments in his camp. He recognizes the fact that I'm too slow of a starter. I'm leaving things into the judge's hands. I can't do that anymore. I think we're going to see a very aggressive and powerful Piotr Jan come uh, this UFC 299 event. Now, the question is, is Piotr Jan going to be able to take the power of Song Yudong? And guys, I'm not going to sit up here and act like Piotr or uh, Song Yudong is some sort of like one-shot knockout artist. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying Piotr Jan does have good grappling. But Song Yudong has, has pretty good grappling himself. He has good takedown defense. I know we saw Cor uh, Corey, Hans, uh, Corey Sanhagen exploit some of the weaknesses in the grappling of Song Yudong. But I do believe that Song Yudong's grappling is good enough to keep this fight on the feet to where I think that this is going to take place very much in boxing range. My concern for Piotr Jan is yes, Jan does hit hard. He has brutal combinations. And he does have some devastating strikes that he likes to use. But Song Yudong, man, we've seen what this the, the power that this dude possesses in his hands. Song Yudong is younger. Everyone keeps acting like Song Yudong is like almost 40. Song Yudong is like 25 or 26 years old, man. This dude's young. He's hungry. 
He's, he's, his confidence is building. The guy's got a lot of fights for, for, for a young dude. He's been in the UFC for a long time, training with Uriah Faber, who Uriah Faber has fought, uh, fought Piotr Jan. They're very familiar with Piotr Jan. With all that being said, I do believe that Piotr Jan comes into this matchup very aggressive. I think that he's still measured, but very methodical. I think that he's able to pick apart Song Yudong. And I do see Piotr Jan winning this fight, getting back on the win track. You know, because Piotr Jan's a huge name at Bantamweight. He's one of the biggest names in a stacked Bantamweight division. I think Piotr Jan wins this fight. He moves on, gets another win, and he's right back into the title picture. But guys, we have to be really honest with this situation. And that is the fact that Song Yadong also has a really good chance to hurt Piotr Jan and kind of not, not put an end to Piotr Jan, but give Piotr Jan another loss to add to that streak. And people want to discredit Song Yadong and act like this dude isn't some high-level fighter. And it's like, this is a huge test for Song Yadong, but one that he's earned and he deserves to be in the position for. Song Yadong has looked very good in his last outings. However, we look at the Chris Gutierrez fight, and I'm like, you know, Chris Gutierrez is a good fighter. He's got good striking. His feints are good. Good range, good range management. You know, not every everyone thinks that every fight's going to be exciting. Sometimes... You know, there's only so much you can do. You got to get the win. That was what's most important for Song Yudong is stacking up these wins. Song Yudong has not fought the competition that Piotr Jan has fought, which is a very fair assessment. But when I look at this, I really, I really, really, really believe Piotr Jan is going to pick Song Yudong apart. I think that Piotr Jan is going to land the more damaging shots. I believe that he is going to have his way with Song Yudong. The problem becomes... Piotr Jan, we saw in that Sean O'Malley fight, and granted that Sean O'Malley, he is the best striking, in my opinion, in the division, him and Piotr Jan both. But Song Yudong does possess some crazy power in his hands, man. Can we agree on that? And all it takes is one shot to change the course of a fight. I mean, we've seen Piotr Jan hurt people with one shot, but how many fights have we seen Piotr Jan end with one shot? Not many. How many have we seen for Song? I mean, we haven't seen that many, right? I mean, we have seen some devastating shots from Song Yudong. We've seen him hurt people and sit guys down. But it's not like we're talking about Francis Ngannou type effect from either one of these guys in terms of the knockouts, right? I mean, we can say that. I know they're Bantam weights. But we're, you know, people are making it seem like Song Yudong is going to knock someone out with one shot. Yan's finishing guys with one shot. Like, that's not how I see this matchup. I see Piotr Jan being the more technical guy, landing the better combinations, being slicker in the striking. But we have seen that with Song Yudong, one shot can change the course of the fight. And that's what I'm concerned about in this matchup for Piotr Jan. Piotr Jan's taken some time off since that last outing with Mirab Dwalishvili, which I think has served him well. He's made some adjustments in his camp. I think that Piotr Jan is the better fighter. He's absolutely the better striker. But with that being said, when you're dealing with the young, hungry guy who's on a tear, Song Yudong's just dripping with confidence right now. He's a guy that's got, you know, good coaches. His grappling's gotten better. It's a tough customer, man. It's a tough fight for Piotr Jan to come back into. But if anyone's going to come back after a little bit of a layoff, right the wrongs, get back on track, I think it's Piotr Jan. I, I'm, I'm picking Piotr Jan in this matchup. I just wanted to point out to you all that this is a tough, fight for Piotr Jan. I would have liked to have seen Jan come back and fight Rob Fawn. I think that that would have been a great fight, a fan-friendly fight. I think Jan would have won that fight. Then we booked this Song Yadong matchup, but I like this matchup. I think this is a fun fight. I think that this is a performance of the night, fight of the night type of matchup. I do believe that Jan is the better overall fighter. He has more tools. He has the better striking, but I give that slight power advantage to Song but we've seen, we've seen Piotr Jan, man. We've seen what this guy can do. We saw him hurt Sean O'Malley. We saw him hurt Corey Sanhagen. We've seen him hurt Aljo. Song doesn't possess the grappling threat that Aljamain Sterling possesses. I think Jan's going to be a lot more comfortable on the feet. I think he's going to be more aggressive. I think he's going to be sharp. He does eat shots, though. Jan's style is very much built around pressuring forward, kind of fighting in that phone booth range which is with, with uh, Song. That's very dangerous. But the body kicks of Jan, the trips, the sweeps, the leg kicks, the stand switching, I think it's going to be a little bit much for Song to handle. What do you all think?
What do you all think? I think this is a great matchup. Like, subscribe, comment below. Help your boy out. I appreciate you. See you in the next one.